This one, uh, it was inspired by my love for black love. Everybody likes black love, right? <laughs> I know a lot of times it may seem a little cliche nowadays, but I still, it's corny, it's corny on some people when they seem, I still believe in black love. Okay. I still love black love. Okay. And specifically for me, I love black women. <laughs> I don't, I don't get too much into it because I'm having up here all night, but this one is called Let Nothing Come Between Us. Black women, let nothing come between us. Not this century old power shuttle we have with each other, fighting to see which one of us is more valuable than the other. Not the disease mentality, believing healthy monogamy in our community is just a fallacy. Not the false perception to less than procreation in an attempt created by the enemy convincing us that abusive men is just inherently toxic masculinity. Instead, love me without the perception of those who mistreated you and fail to cherish your heart not realizing that we need you. Instead of fighting with our pride and seeing who has a bigger ego, let's compete to see who can do more for each other and only fight to see who can bring more honor to each other. Let nothing come between us. And for no other reason unless it be God, and to use him as a way to strengthen our bond and praying that he sets longevity by our side. See, as God took him out rib and made a woman of my complexion, I need your divine feminine essence for my spirit's protection and to keep my moral compass centered in the right direction, black women. Let nothing come between us. Let nothing come between us. Not even the brothers who call you out of your name and convince you that if you were with another race, they wouldn't do you the same. Not even the sisters who tell you that your interdependency says that you don't need us. And that as for fighting for the right men, fighting for a woman is beneath us. And not that misconception that your sex is our only objective, which ignores the fact that real men aren't slaves to our relations. Instead, let's understand, none of us are the prize unless we realize that, unless we win our interdependency, that is our win. Because that is the biggest revolution against any enemy, black women, let nothing come between us.